Hey gang, my name is Eve of Evie, and welcome back to Undertale. I literally just finished up the last episode, and I'm recording the second one. So this should be fun. Let's see what's next. Um, that's about to do it. Okay. I can't read the sign up above the door. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. That actually sounds really good. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Thank you. That does not sound good. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay. She has a very nice house. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of this year. Or whatever year this is taking place in. Mm, these books are worn. They must have been read many times. I am right in front of her. Okay. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aw. I like her. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. <laughs> Aw. You've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. It's a cattail, I think. That's what it looked like anyway. At least that's what I know the most. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh. The music changed. Did you hear that? Swing like this. That's creepy. Actually, that's really creepy. Mm, a box of kids' sho shoes in a disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. An empty. Okay. Nothing. Oh. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Um, I'm turning the light on. Okay. For a second I thought the music had died out. I was like, um... So that's a bad sign. Yeah, those look like cattails. Room under renovations. Okay. What about this one? Ooh. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. No. Maybe in a minute. Ah, the cactus. The truly the most yandere of all plants. Of plants. And peek inside. Scandalous. It's her sock drawer. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A plant of a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Or cattails. I can see how they'd be called water sausages, but I know cattails. Okay, same thing. I know them as cattails anyway. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Okay, I really want to read the circled passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Cool. What's over here? Hi! She's over here. Okay. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. She's a little paranoid, I think. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Note to self, most bookshelves, so far anyway, have the same thing. La 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 la. I'm trying to skip, I can't go any faster through this. Okay. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. Cool. Up already, I see. 
Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Okay. I'm gonna explore a little bit and then maybe I'll ask her that. For some reason, there's... There is brand name chocolate... There's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Can I have it? I love chocolate. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Hmm, probably from her. Inside the cupboards are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Cool. I want gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Yeah. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Wait a second. I thought I'm playing a human. Wait, why is that just... She must use fire magic. Casually, okay. Sure, whatever. I'll take it. Um... Oh, I think you should play upstairs instead. Okay, I am not going to object because that place is terrifying. Okay, let's talk to her again. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Sure, I guess. Well, bother me if you need anything else, okay? What is it? How do I go home? I have something to do, stay here. It, it, but, but, wait. Can I? I can go out that door. But I don't need to go out that door. Wait. And what's down here? Why was it all weird and purple? You used to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! Wait. But... Can I not go home? Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am the only one protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. It, but what about, like, home? Do not try to stop me, this is your final warning. Okay. Now I'm just curious what happens if I follow her. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You were just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Oh, lovely. Toriel blocks the way. Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, ow! Ow! Toriel looks through you. I don't want to fight her. Well, come on, I'm not this ineloquent. Ah, oh, wait, Toriel, Toriel, please, please, please. No, I don't want to fight you. Oh, crud. That was okay. Ow! I don't want to fight you, Toriel. Please don't make me. I have a feeling I can't flee. Because this is. This seems to be a very scripted event. Oh! She's missing me. Do you see that? It's missing me. Okay. 
how do I do this? Why was that confusing to you, Toriel? I don't want to fight you. What do you think? This is taking forever, but I'm, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to die, but I don't want to fight you. Attack or run away? No, you keep missing me. You keep missing me. You keep missing me, Toriel. Come on. Just... It's official. This character is an idiot. I really don't want to fight her. Oh, that's good. Oh, ow. Ow, ow. Ow. Crud. Okay. I guess... Where is it? Go upstairs. Oh, wait. I... Already? What would it take for you to learn your lesson? I'm gonna try one more time. I don't think of any others. Okay. Fred. Oh. Oh. I actually have to do something there. Ow. Holy crud, she has a lot of health. I really don't want to, like, defeat her, though. I'll try talking to her again when her health gets lower, because I really don't want to kill her. I like her. Oh. What? You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. That's ominous. Be good. Won't you? Yeah. My child. Please don't die. Wait. I killed her. I didn't mean to kill her. I killed her. Toria, wait. No, no, no. Huh? I killed her. I didn't mean to kill her. I really liked her. I feel so bad. Oh my gosh. I, I really didn't mean to. I, I thought I was gonna have, because it was only taking like 50 off. It was only taking a tiny bit of her health. And then it just, it's 300 randomly. I didn't mean to kill her. I hope you like your choice. No! After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it, she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. You're mean, Flowey. You're very mean. I don't like you. I don't like Flowey at all. Wait a second, what just happened? Wait a second, what just happened? Okay. I thought that was the end of the game for a second there. I was like, what? There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Take it. What? 
That's weird. That's really weird. Why is there a camera there? There's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. It's been smashed like it was nothing. Nope. Okay, I'm getting freaked out. Can I sprint? Oh, please tell me I can sprint. Oh, gosh. No, 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 go! Why are you stopped? Human- Yeah! Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. No! The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyway, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. Let's see what's so funny about it. I'm San. San's the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through the skate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother made the bar is too wide to stop anyway. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what? Sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you want to look? No. Don't have time for that. What if human comes through? I want to be ready. I will be the only one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. He does have a cape. People will be able to ask my friend. Oh, people will ask to be my friend. Okay, hold on a sec, guys. I have someone at my door. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My brother was just asking me a quick question. And if you hear loud noises, that's the vacuum. He's not doing it yet, but he might be in a minute. Anyway, okay. People will ask to be my friend. Oh, wrong button. I will bathe in, the sh in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. What are you doing, Sans? Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit in boon boondoggle? That's an interesting word. Boondoggle. It's kind of fun. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> oh gosh. It's so bad, yet I like it. <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sigh. Why does somebody as great as me have to do so much just to get recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Sans. It was cute the first time. I'm starting to get annoyed now, though. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> His was clever. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going, he might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. No thanks. 
Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Strangely shaped rocks. Okay, moving on. Actually, hey. Hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking. My brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Wait, what? Oh, okay. He wants to see me, I guess? The inconvenience of the lamp still fills with you, you with determination. Cool. Okay, let's keep going for now. Use the box. What's the sign say? This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Oh, cool. I have a glove. Whoa! You're terrifying. Joke? Bad ice bun. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Oh! Spinning circles. Cool. Okay, that was what I was trying to do. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. No. Okay, yeah, let's try it. Let's see what happens. It's a photo over looking monster. Call me, here's my number. Yeah, wise. You send the line back out. So, as I was saying about Undine, <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Sans, oh my gosh, is that a human? Yes! Hello! I'm running away now. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my gosh. Is that... Is that a human? Yes. Oh my gosh. Sans, I finally did it. Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so popular. Him. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will cap... I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then... Then... I'm not sure what's next. <laughs> oh, these guys are hilarious. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye an eye socket out for you. Cool. So what happens if I go forward? Oh, hi. I'm running away. That's taking too long. Alright, that's what I was doing. There's some narration on the cardboard outside. You observed the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. <laughs> Absolutely no moving. What? something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, human, I'd make sure it never moves again. Doggo. Easily excited by movements. Hobbies include squirrels. Cool. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Someone's been smoking dog treats. That's very disturbing. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. 
If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. I want to... I want to read the sign. North ice, south ice, west ice, east Snowden town, and ice. Snowman! Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please, take a piece of meat and bring it very far away. I will. Thank you. You got the snowman piece. Cool. Okay. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, our orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. He got zapped. That was adorable. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. That's really clever. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be so easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> he just admitted he was an idiot. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he was wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Okay, I really like Sans. I really like Sans. He's so cute. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Hello. Would you like some nice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G. Yeah, okay, I'll get one. Here you go, you have a super day. You got the nice cream. Alright, let's see where this is going. Holy crud. Hi, little snowball. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it is a... Snow decahedron. Oh, actually, it's a snow decahedron. Which is... 12 sides, for anyone who doesn't know. Pretty sure it's 12, or is it 16? I don't know, one or the other. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? Just 15G. No. You're right. I should charge way more than that. Fried snow would melt, dude. Okay, let's see where this snowball goes. Oop, I slide on the ice. Oh! I was afraid this was gonna be like one of those weird moving puzzles, but it's actually not really that hard. Oh. oh I take it back. This is not as easy as it looked. Okay. You guys probably didn't see me. I was just playing around for a little bit there with the snowball. It didn't work. Okay. Smell danger rating? Snow smell. Snowman, white rating can become yellow rating. 
Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. Wait. White can become yellow. Blue. Why is the green and red? Hers. His. Okay. Well, I can go down here. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me. There's no way they can get past this one. Sans, that didn't do anything. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easy is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That super easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Uh believable. Human. Solve this dispute. Which is harder? I gotta go with crossword. You two are weird. <laughs> Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> he actually has good jokes, which is bad! <laughs> yeah. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. How? What? Okay. Cool. Save point. Yay. Alright. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fizzy with determination. Save. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna end the episode here. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't. Papyrus and Sands are hilarious. Like... I'm enjoying this. Okay. I guess I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!